Hello guys, Making Magic here, and I'm back with another tutorial. Today uh, we'll be creating a blood screen or death screen in GIMP. GIMP uh, short, is short for Graphical Image Manipulation Program, and it's a great program if you don't have money to buy Photoshop, and it's uh, quite powerful as well. And it's very popular, popular in the indie game development scene. So yeah, if you don't have GIMP, just go on the, their website and download GIMP for Windows or Mac, whatever you have. Uh, and also I'll be including the link to download in the description. When you have it downloaded, just open it up. Uh, it will wait, uh, it will take a few seconds to load the uh, uh, plugins and fonts if you just downloaded it. When you have GIMP opened up, you should get something like this. And uh, now we want to go to file and create a new file. Uh, width we're going to set to 1920 and uh, height to 180, so it's HD. And under advanced options, we're going to fill it uh, with transparency and set and click OK. Now we're going to get this transparent, uh, transparent uh, screen over here. And what we want to do is bring the toolbox uh, to us. So we want to go to Tools and New Toolbox. So this is going to create a toolbox for us. Now we're going to bring the layers to us. And we want to go to Windows, Docker, Dialogs and Layers. Uh, we're going to right click it and create a new layer. And set it to white. Now we're gonna color it. Uh, set it to light red or red or white, just not black. And set OK and this color fill tool over here. Click it and select it. And now we fill it with this color. Now what we want to do is go to our eraser settings. Double click it, select the brush. We're gonna select this brush over here, the second one, and set the size. We're gonna size it up. And we're gonna change the aspect ratio so it's a bit so it's a bit uh, horizontal. And we're gonna size it up a lot. Just click this little arrow over here. And just press it and hold it till you get the right size. Not yet. A bit more. Okay. Now just go to your image and just click it a few times so you get it. And you can also raise it a bit more. And just erase it so you get uh, something like this. It's not perfect, just you know, uh, this will represent you know the uh, the blurred vision, the blurred blooded vision uh, in the player's eyes. So, yeah, now we have that done, and uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to uh, our paintbrush and we're gonna double click it. And this one we're gonna bring down and set the aspect ratio to somewhere around zero. And we're gonna double click, uh, we're gonna click the brush and select the spark brush. This is going to create a nice blood particle effect for us. Set it up a, little, a bit if you want to. And now just paint it over. I'm gonna bring this away. And I'm gonna paint it just somewhere around to make kind of like a frame, you know. 
And now when you're placed with your uh, particles uh, placement, you want to go to colors and colorize. And we're going to set the hue to around zero so it's a bit red. And saturation, we're going to raise it up a bit. And lightness, we're going to lower it down. And yeah, mess around with the settings as you want and to get the perfect look. I think this one is quite well. So I'm going to uh, click OK. And this is going to be my blood screen. Now, if you want to save the file, you can save it, but I'm going to export it as and PNG, of course. Make sure it's typed PNG and the name, I'm going to set it to death. SC. And I'm going to export it to desktop. You can export it to Unity, uh, it's going to be the uh, same. And just export it. Uh, leave don't mess with the settings, export. And now if I go to my desktop and double click my death screen, as you can see, you get this. I think it's quite well looking death screen. It's very basic, but it's okay. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, Please let me know if you want more game tutorials and Blender tutorials in, down in the comments. Uh, and also share, uh, rate and uh, subscribe. Bye.